Let's go over five examples that I expect my students to be able to do in your head. The first one is going to be a difference of two squares. But to get it into the format that we're going to want, the first thing we're going to do is rearrange this and then factor out a negative. When I rearrange this, I get an x squared plus 1. Now I can factor out the negative and put it into difference of two squares. The next one is going to be a trinomial. Hopefully we're pretty familiar with trinomials. Remember, when you're trying to do this in your head, what you're trying to think of is what two numbers multiply to give me a positive 6, but add to give me a negative 5. Since my last term is positive, we know both of those two numbers have to both be positive or negative. Since my middle term is negative, I know they're both going to be negative. Now this next one, a lot of times students will not want to do in their head because they see a 2 and they know there's many, many different options here. But the cool thing is when you have a 2 as your A and a 1 as your C, there's actually going to be only one option. And again, what the math that I'm doing in my head is just going to be multiplying my inner as well as my outer. 2x times negative 1 is a negative 2x. 1 times x is going to be an x. Our negative 2x plus an x is going to be a negative 1, which is going to give me my middle term. The next one, again, looks confusing. A lot of students maybe not want to try to see if they can factor this in your head. But just like we look for difference in two squares, I want you to look for perfect square trinomials. When my first term is a square number and my last term is a square number, think perfect square trinomials. The only thing we want to do is check our middle term, make sure that it's going to be 2 times our a and our b, which are going to be the square root of those two terms. And this one checks out. Now, the last one you definitely should not be able to do in your head, but if you can, congratulations to you.